last Tuesday, he would have been 59 years old. He and his wife Kay had two children, Sherry, now 31, and Tommy, now 33. In the 10 years since Tom died, I have never missed him or never hurt so much as when there are special occasions that he's not here to attend. For instance, Sherry's graduation from college, her wedding in 2005, and most recently, Tommy's wedding just this past weekend. I cannot say that Tom ever did anything, any deed, any championed any idea that would warrant headline news. Yet all of Clare, Michigan, population 3,000, knew Tom and knew his work ethic, his commitment, his responsibility, his respect, his caring, and his sportsmanship. Today we know these characteristics have been conveyed by example to his kids. When my sister and I wanted to take, Tom, take the kids, all seven of our nieces and nephews, to Washington, D.C. on a trip via train, Tommy and Sherry did not go, and we were not happy. You see, Tom's kids were always in sports, and high school sports had practice even during spring break. He set his kids down, and they talked about commitment to the team, the practice schedule, but he ultimately, ultimately let them make the decision, and they opted to stay and go to their practice. The coaches thought I should skip. It was okay to skip. Their mother thought it was okay to skip. Obviously, my sister and I thought it was crazy not to skip. <laughs> <coughs> After some phone calls back and forth, they stayed home. Clearly, Tom's examples were set in place and inculcated into his kids. Tom was always a hard worker until a blood disorder at age 32 ruined his kidneys and set in motion the need for three kidney transplants and ultimately resulting in him being on dialysis. He referred to going to dialysis three times a week as going to work. When his previously stay-at-home wife could, went out to work, Tom took over whatever household chores he could manage, whether it be folding laundry, doing a load of clothes, or getting the dishes done. Sometimes his dry sense of humor had just a tinge of bitterness. He lost his vision over this time, and his sense of humor still came through. He used to get a big kick out of realizing that the kids would sometimes stand between him and the TV because he could still see outlines. And he would say to them, hey, move out of the way, I can't see the TV. And get a big charge out of the kids' reaction <laughs> as they first stepped aside and they realized he can't see anyway. So there were a lot of chuckles over that. Yet he certainly could be judgmental. There was no middle ground. There was no gray areas. Everything was black and white. But all of his good qualities overcame that, and his he conveyed that and passed that on to his children. Tom made the whole of society better, not by doing anything large and heroic, but because he just did his part as a parent. And he added strong fibers to the fabric of society through his two kids with their strength of character. Before he left us, he did all he could do, and he did all he should do.